Hi folks and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, this video is related to the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride and basically what I would like to do is thank all the people for the support that I've received um, for the ride and I will mention people or mention organisations anyway that have helped me out and given me a lot of support both you know financially and uh, and moral support as well which is which is really nice so um, we're just going to take a short ride um, down to a place called Slanam and Dufferin Kerryog which is in Wales and um, we're actually in England at the moment and um, literally one mile from my house I cross over a little river in a minute just around this corner here uh, the river Kerryog and I'm in Wales which is uh, really nice it's, it's a nice place to be and here we go there's only a little it's an old pack horse bridge from you know donkeys years ago uh, still used regularly and uh, there we go so we're in England there's the river and now we're in Wales so anyway onto the distinguished gentleman's ride well what can I say um, first and foremost I would like to thank everybody on the Bobber Forum, on the Triumph Bobber Forum. Um, the amount of support I've received from that that forum has been absolutely overwhelming to be honest. I mean literally hundreds of pounds of contributions and uh, support have, have come my way in the form of sponsorship. Um, people have sold items, high value items and donated them the money t to my ride. Other people have just sent money across from America, from Spain, from all over the place. And I'm, I'm absolutely in awe of the people on that forum. So, you know, if you have a bobber or a speedmaster and you'd like to get involved with one of the best forums on the internet, in my view, friendly, knowledgeable, helpful people, then... Um, join the Bobber Forum. It's brilliant. Really, really is a good friendly place. Lots of advice on, you know, modifications and problems or issues that you might be having with your bike. And just a great place to hang out, really. So that, that's my plug for the Bobber Forum anyway. And as I say, the, the contributions and the help that I've received from that, from that side is, has been fantastic. So thank you all, gentlemen. Uh, for your support, it is all welcome, and it, as you all know, it's going to a to a great cause anyway. Um, but you could have sponsored anybody, and you chose to sponsor me, and I, I really do appreciate that. So thank you again. Um, secondly, I would like to mention um, Canyon Motorcycles. Adrian from Canyon Motorcycles. I've actually recently ordered and well, I've bought a set of nice lightweight aluminium rims for my bobber um, they haven't actually arrived yet but they're due any time now any day um, early next week I believe and Adrian the proprietor of Canyon Motorcycles has, has um, regularly supported the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride and this year he gave his support to me um, yep, I bought a set of wheels, that's fine, but I didn't expect any kind of, you know, a contribution as generous as the one that he gave me. So, again, thank you to Canyon Motorcycles. Um, I will do a review on the wheels when I get them. Um, I'm quite looking forward to that. Uh, I'm sure they're going to look great. And, and Adrian also gave me good advice on what to go for, what type of wheel, and, uh, you know, helped me make it my choice, really. And then thirdly, I would like to thank some people on a, another forum that I go on, um, which is a watch forum in the UK, TZ UK, Time Zone UK. Um, again, I've received 
uh, quite a bit of support from there, from from some of the members on there. Although there are other members doing the DGR, so it's difficult really. They can't, you know, you can't just expect everybody to give you all their money. It's not right. Um, there's other there's other guys on there, motorcycle enthusiasts who are also involved in the uh, distinguished gentleman ride, and they've they've obviously been asking for help as well. So, but but between us, it doesn't really matter. It's all going to the same cause. So again, I, I'd like to thank the people on Time Zone um, for the help that I've received and the support that I've received. Then we get on to just individuals, really, family and friends. Um, I've had a lot of contributions, just anonymous. I don't know who they are, um, so I, I, you know, I can't even thank them personally. But, but please, if you look at this video, you will, you know, you'll know that I appreciated every single penny that has come my way. So, thank you again to anybody that uh, that contributed, and especially to my friends and family. And my wife in particular, she was uh, she's been behind me the whole way, getting getting as much support and more so than that, my sister, um, my sister Michelle, she's she really got behind it and she she cajoled anybody and everybody into um, putting a few pounds my way. So that's that really. That's the distinguished gentleman's ride. Um, thank yous that I would like to do. And uh, I, I hope that the, the people that have contributed do see the video and do understand how much I appreciate the support that I've received. So that's, that's all I can say on that matter, really. But in general, talking about, you know, charities and, uh, and giving money to people and things like that, I don't you find that, you know, the biking community, they get behind they get behind virtually anything that's to do with raising money for a good cause. I mean, in, in the area that I live here, um, you know, we've got the air ambulance. As soon as the air ambulance comes up and say they need money, you can bet the bikers will be there. You know, they'll, they'll be there raising money somehow, one way or another. Local hospices always get support from bike communities. Um, what else do we do? We have the Easter egg runs, the Christmas um, Christmas toy runs for the kids in the hospitals. All the local hospitals benefit from, you know, fundraising from from motorcycle motorcyclists. Uh, Blood bikers is another one, a voluntary organisation that people give up their time to transport urgently needed, you know, blood and medication from one hospital to another. All done voluntarily and all done freely and, and, and happily. And that's something that I'm I'm pretty proud of actually. I, I think that, you know, sometimes bikers get a bit of a bad rap and um, it's in a lot of cases it's completely undeserved because they do a hell of a lot for the for their local communities and I'm sure it's not just around here actually, it's everywhere. You know, it's just an excuse <laughs> an ex any excuse to get out on the bike with a group of other like minded people is um it is, you know, is going to be a, something that people will do, and um, good for them, I say. So yeah, so that that's the fundraising side of it, and um, just going to enjoy my little ride now. I'm going to um, a little pub in San Armand called the Hand. Um, it's in the middle of nowhere, but it's just a really nice little ride to get there. And uh, on the bobber on a day like today, why not? I say I haven't felt too good this week to be honest. So this is it's nice, nice to just get out on the bike and have a little, have a little ride out in the sunshine before the weather changes, which it will be doing soon. I, su I suspect it's. Um, I think that the number of days like this one are going to be numbered now as we approach winter time excuse me but, um, but I'm still loving my bobber it's still a fantastic bike to ride absolutely love it great fun speed bumps as well. 
20 mile an hour and speed bumps, what else do you need? <laughs> I don't know why we just don't have a man with a bloody red flag in front of us. That would, uh, that would do the job, wouldn't it? Yeah, I suppose um, I can add a little bit in about the DGR really. Back to the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. Um, when I first started to ask people for help, I sort of had a target in mind of £500 and I thought, you know, if I could raise £500 that would be a nice little contribution to the uh, to the fund and so on and that, that would be a good thing. Well, that blew straight out the window. That's, uh, I'm almost at £1,500 now. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's, you know, that's a lot of money. Different Kerry Oak. Way up. Bus coming. And over the river. glass of orange juice or something like that. 